Sagittarius, so in today's reading, we'll be doing, we'll be looking at, sorry, um, your first meeting with the one. I apologize if I'm a little tongue-tied. It's one of those days. We have a lot of pentacles coming through on your side of the spread. This will be a you versus them with tarot and we have oracle cards. But yeah, very work focused. Your energy is quite stable. You're doing well. Seven of pentacles, page of pentacles, ace of pentacles. It's telling me that there will be a new uh, opportunity presented to you. This has to do with your finances. Perhaps you were headed in one direction and you know things aren't working out. I see a lot of frustration here and then I see you being redirected down another path here. It'll be different for each one of you because it's a general reading, but it's almost like you're quitting one job for another, right? You're starting from scratch, getting back to the basics here with the Page of Pentacles. Some of you may be students, but what is being highlighted is there is a new opportunity, a financial endeavor being presented to you. You're looking at it, assessing if it's worth your time and energy. So you're in contemplation mode when it comes to you know, the next move you want to make when it comes to your career. Perhaps it involves relocating, right? There's many possibilities here. Your person's energy around the time that you meet, we have six of wands, six of pentacles. They're good. They're doing well. They're stable. And they're at peace here with whatever is going on in their life. I'm seeing an entrepreneur here, so they may run their own business and they're doing quite well. Profiting. I'm not sure they're rich, wealthy. I don't, you know, that's not what this reading is about, but they're doing well for themselves they're stable and some of you yeah i'm getting an entrepreneur here someone who's helping others they may be a salesman or something saleswoman that is coming through maybe they need to interact with the public or be in the public eye some of them could be on social media also around the time you meet i'm getting this person is playing the field they are looking for love they're they're open to the idea yeah, right of finding the one to some extent which i'll get to here but yeah they're enjoying the tension they're getting they have options and just playing the field really i actually want to see what are they like, this person's personality yeah your person's been a bit of a heartbreaker here in the past clarify three of swords yeah <laughs> yeah this person's not they some of them were a player here in their past but they're stepping into a more stable energy in the past they're coming through as the knight of wands someone who scatters their energy they come in hot and heavy but they're coming out of that so yeah they've mastered the element of pen the pentacles right so they're stable they may even be older than you or more established in their career here is what is coming through king of pentacles but yeah they have been they're very charming they're physically attractive and they have been a bit of a heartbreaker here in the past but when you meet them, they'll be in the King of Pentacles energy. So that's not something you have to worry about. And others of you, I'm also getting that this may be a reconciliation here with Seven of Swords Judgment. Someone who thought the grass was greener on the other side and they'll be coming back for a second chance. They're having some sort of awakening here, which I never get in my readings. I don't get stuff like awakenings, but I'm getting that. Someone who's been you know assessing reassessing their past and they're admitting their mistakes here and they're changing as a person they're evolving here with the moon and a lot of this is external to them so they don't have control over it these changes that they're going through it's a higher power at work but yeah i do definitely see a death and rebirth or transformation situation for them which will be beautiful because it's like they're the best version of themselves here so if it is someone from your past, you may be shocked to see them, right? They're not who you remember them to be. This person's reliable, they're stable, they're in it for the long haul, right? This is the one. And I feel like this person's quite desirable. Um, they're doing well for themselves and 
they look good, they smell good, right? Their finances are in order. This person has a good head over their shoulders. So why wouldn't you want them with the King of Pentacles? How you'll be feeling, we have Sun, Eight of Pentacles. You're just happy with your life. I don't think you really care, right? It's a very you know, free-spirited, light-hearted energy. You're someone who's very self-assured. You're confident around the time you meet them. But something is happening here when it comes to your finances. It's almost like you're a little bit smug here. Smug, or would I say proud of yourself, and rightfully so, you've worked hard, right? Eight of Pentacles is persistence, dedication to some sort of goal here. Some of you, this can be in terms of your body, right? You have some you know, body goals, I don't know, you're working out, you're seeing the results, but you're having a lot of energy, you're glowing literally around the time you meet your person. So yeah, very cheerful, but also very work focused. How they'll be feeling judgment, seven of swords. So definitely those of you that know this person, how you'll know that this person is your person <laughs> is there's very this person's a great communicator and they'll be there with you consistently here so this is not someone who will be on again off again with their communication um that is one clue you do have someone that's there for you on a daily basis then i mean listen to your intuition but communication Yeah, they're saying pay attention to how you feel. You'll feel very happy. You feel like your energy is being elevated, uplifted. You don't have to guess where you stand. This is how you'll know. Empress, Ten of Cups. They'll make you feel special. They'll cherish you. They'll treat you like the Empress, the Emperor that you are. So pay attention to how they're making you feel. That is how you'll know you've met the one. This is someone who's very supportive of your ambitions, what you want to create, always encouraging you to go after your dreams, Queen of Wands. And that is what this person is attracted to, right? Your leadership skills, the passion you have for whatever it is you want to achieve here. But you're very focused on your life purpose and you're very passionate about whatever this is that you're working on and they see that hunger here in your eyes and it's that drive something about very ambitious around the time you meet and they relate right with the king of pentacles so yes it's like your biggest fan and very supportive of you oh man this will be like your best friend uh, especially when it comes to your finances really a great person to have in your corner okay sorry i got a little bit sidetracked but yeah seven of swords is they have options maybe one person i don't know they're playing the field and they are actually leaving someone for you sagittarius their hearts calling out their heart wants you their heart chooses you so whatever options they have will sort of naturally fade away here because you're the only one they can see with judgment and this is divinely guided so i mean you have the help of a higher power who's looking over this connection the person can't help but be gravitated towards you it's like you're love once they meet you they'll have a hard time getting you out of their energy it's like you're all around them you almost haunt them in a way when they're getting to know you. They can't forget you, even if they try to replace you or they feel like, you know, there's a better option. I'm just giving you scenarios. They can't. You're that one person they can't forget. And I don't think they've had this. Is I telling you about the awakening, right? So it's like, I, I've never felt this way. That is how they're feeling. No one's made me feel like the way Sagittarius makes me feel. Your first impression of them, we have two of cups, six of cups. Soulmate. Soulmate connection. Well, you'll feel that mutual attraction. 
it's re- you know it's reciprocated i don't see any one-sided love one person's doing more chasing i don't really get that um for the most part you're on the same page there's some similar interests communication sort of flows well right naturally it's not forced and you feel a sense of comfort i think that really matters right you feel like you can be yourself around them with the queen of wands and you don't have to force or try to be someone else other than you and it's just relief but intense attraction here it almost feels like past life and some of you literally someone from your past but that won't be for everyone right their first impression of you this is funny three of wands four of swords some of you there may be initial distance here between the both of you but you're coming through as emotionally distant or physically distant but specifically emotionally a little bit reserved closed off and like you're not fully invested that is how you're coming across although you're feeling the two of cups here so i don't think you'll be showing that and it's the first meeting so that makes sense so yeah their first impression of you is that you're a little bit distant the mutual feelings between the both of you nine of wands wounded warrior i see it on their side for you it seems to be more trust issues right it's a new person i want to get to know you better for them they seem to have been i don't know there's something from their past i'm getting that wounded warrior scenario right someone who doesn't want to get hurt again they were walking away from something someone but they're also someone who's very jealous and they don't give up easily your person is jealous. I have that with the oracle cards as well. But very persistent and loyal once they commit and they're not giving up on you. How you're acting here in the first meeting, we have four of cups, nine of cups. Yeah, I feel like you're living your best life. You're very happy with where you're at, right? Single or not, you don't really care. I mean, you'll have that 10 cup, right? You're at the nine, you just need that one cup. This person's bringing that ace of cups towards you um, but for the most part i'm getting someone who's very satisfied and you know i'm the best so i deserve the best is sort of the mentality so i don't see you chasing running after anyone if we look at the imagery both of the figures their arms are crossed right so i think you'll wait for this person to approach you some of you aren't even fully there right you have other things going for you you're very busy and it's sort of uh, whatever right that is sort of your attitude you like them don't get me wrong but i don't think love is your focus i think there's some major celebration when it comes to um, career finances so yeah for the most part i'm seeing a bit of a detached aloof energy but someone who's open to hear the other person out if they were to approach but i don't see you doing the approaching here Sometimes four of cups can be a little bit of moodiness, right? Can be one of those scenarios where you were focused on love, right? Things didn't work out and then you're saying, F love, <laughs> right? I'm just going to pay attention to my work, my body, myself. And then this person comes along out of nowhere, right? He's not even paying attention. So there is an element of surprise here. For how them, they're approaching you, we have moon, seven of cups, devil, chariot i see a lot of daydreaming here or even dreams we have a lot about dreams coming through with the oracles which i'll get to but definitely fantasizing and there is a level of confusion here as well i don't think they really know how to approach you but they will t- they will confront their fears here there may be a little bit of intimidation that this person will take charge they will be the one making the first move um, especially if there's distance they'll be wanting to move towards you or travel to you but yeah they'll be very receptive more passive energy here initially really wanting to listen to you get to know you they're bringing emotions they're emotionally available so that is not an issue it's a little bit a lot of it's like drowning in their emotions. It's almost fixated on you with the devil when they meet you. A little bit of an obsession here with you. 
they feel that this can work right away they feel like it's like two opposing forces coming together and they're ready they're ready to move forward here in their life I want more clarity when it comes to the moon Wow, okay, three of swords, five of cups, five of pentacles. This person's going through some drastic shifts, changes here. I'm not sure what this is. It'll be different, but for each one of you, th this person's really been through it. Some very difficult energy coming through. This person's healing, and they're ready to embark on a new journey when it comes to their love life. They've turned their back to whatever this five of cups, five of pentacles is, and they're ready to date. They're open to the idea of getting to know new people, right? But there is a little bit of residual energy from their past that's holding them back. I have to be honest here, but they see right away that they can have a home with you, they can have a family, 10 of cups. If you're of childbearing age and you want children, I definitely see children with your person. How you'll meet, we have Cancer in the ninth house, which is our fourth house and ninth house. Some of you will be seeing two to two um, before you meet this person, or if you see that number sequence, it means that you're on the right track. Fourth house and ninth house can be you traveling for leisure, you traveling for school, are you relocating, and that is how you meet this person. But they're a foreigner here, um, whatever that means to you, um, perhaps from a different location, if not backgrounds. But the element foreign, Travel or foreigner is coming through. Definitely online is coming through. So I see travel online. That is what I'm seeing. But it's not, a lot of you, it's not where you live. It's away from home. You're traveling or you're relocating or this person is and you run into each other. Sometimes 4th house and ninth house can be, you know, say you have family in foreign land, they, inter they introduce you, that is coming through. So a long distance here initially for some of you. Okay, your energy, we have 33, so you may be 33. When you meet this person or 3-3 could hold some significance we have ice fishing breakthroughs increase self-awareness yeah i'm more so being drawn to increase self-awareness with sun um, very empowered energy and i'm getting personal development here um, someone who's been working hard on themselves and you're seeing the results and you're very happy so really that is what i'm getting here but also this person there's an instant knowing that you know, this could develop into something more. We've been in that Four of Cups energy, sort of complacent, whatever, blah. And this person's coming through as a breakthrough, right? Is what I'm seeing. We have orgasm <laughs> and falling in love. So orgasm, yeah, there's that chemistry right away. Your physic, this person's physically your type. Um, so yeah, you'll be burning with desire for them. So instant. It's like lust at first sight, but we also have falling in love. So yeah, the passion, the attraction is there. The chemistry, it's mutual. It's insane chemistry between the both of you. You'll feel it in this first meeting, but there's also emotions here. Falling in love. You feel like this person's a wish come true. It's almost like you're going from the four to the nine. Like here I was sitting under my tree and now I have nine cups. It's a celebration very it's like feeling on top of the world here when you meet them falling in love 
It's like lust, love at first sight. We have your love is like a drug. There's not a day that goes by that I don't miss you. So another way you'll know this is your person is you can't get them out, off of your mind, right? It's like you're addicted to them. So when they're not around you, you'll miss them. But it's a strong infatuation here, but there's also, you know, you really like them as a person. This is the one. We have not budging, refusing to change, stubborn, inflexible, both standing your ground. <laughs> the, the arms crossed here. So it's more so, you know, I'm not budging. I'm not making the first move. If you want me, show me, right? That is sort of the vibe I'm getting. But I'm not. I know what I want and I won't compromise this sort of the attitude. You know yourself, right? We had self-development. So I was saying you're self-assured. So it's you're very clear here. You know, you give me the best or, you know, you give me it all or I don't want anything. We have knowing the path because it's, I don't really need anyone to be happy, right? You were happy without love. You're loving yourself. So someone has to add to that. You'll think about it. You'll consider them, but you're not jumping headfirst into something, right? Without thinking. Because you don't want someone to come in and disrupt disrupt what you have going here with the sun, nine of cups. We have knowing the path, aligning with your purpose, accepting your story on the right track. Yeah, again, I was getting something to do with your north node, but you feel like everything's falling into place. Everything's going well for you. You're on the right path. There's no confusion, right? Should I, could I, would have, should have, could have, would have. You're not in that energy. It's like I have a purpose and I'm laser focused on you know, my path ahead, where I'm going. And this has to do a lot of you with whatever you do for a living, your career. This person's energy, we have 27. So we had 33 in your energy, we have 27. Moon magic. Sleep, dreams, rhythms, and cycles. I touched upon this. Yes, there will be some daydreaming fantasy when it comes to you, but they're also going through some internal changes. It's almost at the subconscious level. It's something deep here with judgment. It's like some sort of spiritual awakening here. I am getting a very spiritual person, but they can be religious here as well with the devil. So it really depends, but I am getting someone who's praying, manifesting, hoping, wishing, right, with the star, and that is how they meet you. They've actually manifested you. And with moon magic, we have fantasy. So he's laying in his hammock and he's picturing, right? And they'll be picturing themselves with you and what it'd be like, you know, day to day, driving in the car with you, getting grocery with you, um, what it'd be like to be passionate with you, right? This is all going, <laughs> a lot of fantasy here with the moon, seven of cups. You know, we could do this, we could do that. I see so much potential here, right? Ten of cups, you represent happiness. This is love at first sight for both of you, I'm getting. We have play in their energy. So yeah, I don't think they'll come on too strong here, although... <laughs> they're feeling a little bit obsessed here and they'll keep it lighthearted and playful they don't want to scare you away right and they like to do things in moderation so i don't see them being you know throwing themselves at you or coming across as very desperate they're, they are the king of pentacles energy someone who's slow and steady so yeah just playful banter flirting with you giving you compliments um wanting to take you out perhaps outdoors here we have them at the playground. Maybe you have children and you want to take your children to the playground. I don't know, from previous connection. They'll be very accepting if you have children or they have children, whatever. But more so, it's like you bring out, you know, that more playful side of each other. I really enjoy this person's company, but yeah, they will want to be out and about. They like to take you out is what I'm getting. We have, I'm heartbroken. I didn't realize I would break my own heart by leaving you. I want to reconcile. Please forgive me. This won't be for everyone. This is for some of you that resonate with that past person that was, you know, grass is greener on the other side. There was some cheating. I don't know what they were doing here, but they're wanting to come back around and reconcile. So that is free will, right? And some of you, you're saying, I don't know. This is a pretty closed off energy, not budging, right? 
especially if they're coming back around the time where you've healed and you're doing extremely well here. It doesn't get better than the sun. Sun is actually one of the most powerful cards, major arcana according to me in tarot. We have, I fear you're going to find someone better if I don't get it together soon. Some of you, if it's not deception from your past person, it could have been external factors getting in the way, right? Some blockages here with devil, um, perhaps a drinking, some ha toxic habits that they're working on, right? And they'll have healed. They don't want to lose you. But there's a little bit of jealousy that I was getting. So yeah, they do fear that you'll move on easily. And like, who wouldn't want you, right? With that sun energy. So they're aware of you know, your worth here. We have forever changed. A new self, lasting changes. I love that transforms. Yeah, we were talking about death and rebirth. We have the butterflies here. It's a new self. Even if it's someone from your past, it's you won't recognize them. I never get this. I never get, you know, players changing. But some of you, I was telling you, this person's past A lasting changes so it's not temporary it's not you know pretending to have changed this person's telling you something on the subconscious level something major here um it's a new chapter and they're excited to embark on this new journey with you if it's a new person it's a new self i love that transforms they're forever changed after meeting you they can't they can't imagine their life without you is what I'm getting after meeting you. We have mental prison, overthinking, creating scenarios, thinking of you a lot. More so seeing the daydreaming, fantasizing, but this person can be an overthinker. You know, what should I do? What should I say? I don't want to mess things up because they are very invested from the get-go. And they do, creating scenarios is that jealousy, you know, I hope they don't find someone else who are who else is Sagittarius talking to. But you're constantly on their mind. They can't they can't get you out of their energy. It can be advice for right now or when you meet this person. Some of you may feel you've met them. What advice do you have for Sagittarius? Ooh. Sorry, there was interruption there. We have trust the feeling. So that is the card of trust your intuition. No one else can tell you what's right or wrong for you. Your intuition is strong right now. So if something doesn't feel right, trust it. Yeah, you'll know. It's intuitive. But we have workout. Wasn't I telling you some of you may be working on your body or something around the time you meet? But this can be talking about eating well, sleeping well, right? Working out, moving your body if you haven't been. And we also have opposites. Perfect is an illusion. The two of you might be total opposites, which I mentioned with chariot, right? Two opposing forces. We have, but in that way, you complete each other. You have more in common than you think. Yes, Sagittarius, that is what I have for you. Take care of yourself, and I will see you next week. Bye.